you've probably heard of CapCut before. It's this super lightweight, free video editor that turned the industry upside down. But what most people don't know is CapCut just dropped something massive. Their new AI video maker can take a basic idea and turn it into a fully edited video, voiceover, script, visuals, music, the whole lot in minutes. In this CapCut tutorial, I'll walk you through exactly how it works, step by step. I know, I know, you've heard it all before, right? But just imagine all of these features built into an already powerful video editing software. The possibilities are beyond endless. All right, let's get started. First things first, go ahead and click on the link in the description. That's going to take you straight to the CapCut website. Now, once you're there, you've got a couple of options. You can either try out the online version or what I highly recommend is downloading the desktop app. So just hit that download button, get it installed on your machine, and you'll be all set to dive in. Before we break it all down, here's a quick preview of what I made with it. The architect predicted my every move and now he's ready to strike. He activates the device and an army of drones flies out from the building. Pretty cool, right? With the desktop home screen open, go ahead and click on the AI Video Maker tab. Once you're in, you'll see all the incredible features this tool offers, from instant AI videos to avatar videos, and even generating a script in just one click. Let's jump straight into the instant AI video maker to get our project started. Now you'll see a new panel appear here on the right. As you can see, CapCut offers a huge range of styles that we can choose from to create our AI video. So let's look through these and choose the US comic style for our video. In the aspect ratio section, you can select 16, 9 if you're going for a YouTube landscape format, or 916 if you're aiming for a mobile format like a TikTok video. The choice is yours, depending on whether you're doing a full-length video or a short. In the next section, we have our script. You can either enter a pre-written script here, or you can use CapCut's own script generator. Let's add a very basic prompt here, like a dramatic story about a vigilante superhero called Shadow Man, who patrols the city's rooftops at night, uncovering a conspiracy that threatens the city's safety. I have found that an overly detailed prompt can lead to confusion, so it's best to give the AI something basic and let it do all of the heavy lifting. And as you will see, we can edit everything later if we need to. Time to choose a voiceover. If you click on this drop-down menu here, you can browse through all of their voiceovers. As you can see, most of them are well described, and you can click on the preview icon to listen to any one of them. Welcome to creating voiceovers. As you go through the list, you'll see there's a voice for everything you want, from Christmas to sports commentators to tech bloggers and even ASMR. Welcome to creating voiceovers. And here's one I found that fits the superhero vibe perfectly. It's called the Werewolf Voiceover, and it sounds a lot like a well-known action hero, if you ask me. Welcome to creating voiceovers. You can set the duration of the video from anything between one and 10 minutes. Just keep in mind any restrictions that may be on the platform you choose to publish on, if any. Now you can hit that create button and let CapCut work its magic. You'll notice a time estimate on this page, along with some tips and tricks to watch as you wait. I've found that the generation time happens much quicker than estimated, which is really impressive. As you can see, the video has been broken down scene by scene. Each one can be edited and reorganized if desired. You can look at that as our base model, which we can refine as we go through the section on the left-hand sidebar. Let's give a quick preview to what we have so far. The city sleeps, but I can't. I patrol the rooftops as Shadow Man, watching over the city that never sleeps for years. I fought crime in the shadows. Nice. The vibe and storytelling are on point, but there's definitely room for some more polished sound and design tweaks. If you need to edit any of the scenes, script, or imagery, simply click on one to change the wording to your liking, or hover over the image to generate a new one. As you can see, you have access to the original prompt for the image, which can be changed, or you can change the style completely and click Generate. In the scene section, 
we have the option to add an avatar to the video, which won't be suitable for this one, or we can replace the voiceover for all scenes with one click. The same can be done with the imagery in the media section if you wanted to change the overall style in one go. Now let's move on to the elements section. Here, we can change the style of the captions. Anyone familiar with the CapCut video editor will know they have a huge library of high quality animated caption templates to suit any theme. Let's select this one as a good match to the comic book theme. Time for some fitting music. Here, we can search through another massive library of music for your video. Simply type in a keyword or phrase that best describes the tone of your video. For this one, dark is definitely the most suitable description of this theme. Find one you like and click on the plus icon to add it to the video. We've now got a fantastic, high quality comic book style video created in no time with minimal effort thanks to this amazing suite of tools. This is what makes CapCut such a powerful AI video editor. Everything is built right in. But let's see how we can push it even further. Click on the Edit More button and you'll see the entire project seamlessly loaded into CapCut's native video editor. Now we've got loads more control over everything from sound design to keyframing and so much more. So let's open the audio section, filter for sound effects, and then scan through the timeline to find a spot that could use a perfect sound effect. A windy sound effect would be perfect for this opening scene on the city rooftops. Search for wind sound, select this one, position it at the start of the scene and trim it to your liking. Reduce the volume substantially and add an extra long fade out like so. Pops a shadow man washing over the city that never sleeps. Next, search for distant siren and place an appropriate sounding one at the other end of the scene to give the city atmospheric sound. For this scene, a footsteps effect would be ideal. But tonight, something's different. It sounds good, but I think we can add a bit of reverb to emphasize that outdoor feeling. With the sample selected, open the voice changer panel and select the reverb effect. Adjust the strength accordingly, followed by the volume level. But tonight, something's different. There's a new... Search for city noise and place this one at the start of this scene. This sample can continue throughout the video as a subtle background texture. For this scene, let's add an evil laugh for an extra layer of sinister moodiness. <laughs> Search for drone slash heavy and position it here for the drone scene. Now let's adjust the positioning of this scene so the main title is visible from the start. Select the first keyframe and reposition the image like so. You can apply this to any of the other scenes that need slight positioning adjustments. And while we are working on that closing scene, let's open the effects panel and search for a comic effect. Select this free one and place it above the caption layers like so. Let's place a call to action at the very end by extending the music track slightly and now copy a caption layer into the space. With the layer selected, go ahead and untick this box so we can isolate this caption and make adjustments without affecting any of the others. Position it in the center of the frame and update the text to say, subscribe for more. And now add a typewriter animation with a 1.5 second duration and accompany this with a typing sound effect trimmed accordingly. Now, before we preview the finished product, I want to give a quick shout out to a few other tools available in the AI Video Maker suite that are absolutely worth exploring. The Brainstorm with AI tool is designed to help spark creative ideas and build out your script structure. Perfect if you're stuck at the concept stage. There's also the Match Media to Script feature, which automatically syncs your uploaded video clips to a script you've written or generated, streamlining the editing process massively. And finally, Avatar videos let you create full presenter-style content using digital avatars, making it ideal for interviews, tutorials, 
or explainer style videos. I didn't get a chance to dive into those in today's video, but they're all built into the same platform and you can explore them as soon as you open the app. As you just saw, the desktop version is a powerhouse. It's fast, fluid, and gives you full control. So if you want the best experience possible, I'd highly recommend downloading the PC app and trying it out today. There's also a web version available at this URL for Mac users or anyone who prefers browser-based editing. And the mobile app's great for quick projects on the go, but for full control, stick with desktop. Now let's take a peek at what our creation turned out like. The city sleeps, but I can't. I patrol the rooftops as Shadow Man. Watching over the city that never sleeps. For years, I fought crime in the shadows. Taking down corrupt cops and criminals alike. But tonight, something's different. There's a new gang in town, and they're led by a mysterious figure known only as the Architect. He's got the city's elite trapped in his crosshairs, and no one's safe. As I swing from building to building, I see him perched atop the tallest skyscraper, overlooking the city with a sinister grin. He's holding a small device in his hand, and I realize with a jolt that he's the one behind the city's recent blackout. I have to stop him before he does any more damage. But as I get closer, I realize I'm walking into a trap. The architect predicted my every move, and now he's ready to strike. He activates the device, and an army of drones flies out from the building, sweeping the city for targets. As Shadow Man watches the drones swarm the city, he realizes the battle has only just begun. The shadows deepen, but the story continues next week in City of the Shadows.